Hola amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croisu y salam, welcome to the channel y'all, chesh niak, shimash, good day, hey, and also bonjour mon petit pois, uh, that is a quick hello to my friend Gerard in Switzerland, so hello to you there Jerry. So today we are going to start putting this Sibo 350 Evolution back together, all the parts have arrived, we have a brand new cable we have a brand new brush strip and we also have a brand new brush roll as well so there was a crack in the one that's in there so we are gonna put in this new brush roll this I got from Manchester Vax so thank you very much Stuart and everybody from Manchester Vax um, thank you to Stuart for selling me this lovely item so I can use it properly Links are in the video description to the store. Go and check it out for all your SIBO and um, Dyson needs. So the first thing I'm going to do is get you guys closer. So I just happened to be making this video on like the hottest day of the year. I got the air conditioner on there. I've got the gym fan, the floor fan over there below in the other way because it is so hot. So the first thing I'm going to do is slide in the new brush roll. That was really easy actually to do that, to slide it in and out. Look at that. Fantastic. Slip it in. It looks like a snake. And then, boom, that is now in place. Let me take off the cord. I'm going to remove the body. Because in the last video, we did the refurb of the top part, so that doesn't need anything. There we go. Jeez, that is stiff. That's what she said. Now, if I remove the wand, pull out the cord, so that cord is now gone. Now we have this brand new cord. I changed it from orange to black because um, that looked like a fly more cable so I wanted to change it so let's see just gonna slightly put it in there for now put the top back on it'd be easier if I took this out stop it flapping around right put the body back on door body on so I can put the cord into the cord socket like so nice and easy and then run this up into the side like so create that hook at the top and pop it in okay so that's holding the cord at the top and I can now put the hose back on so that looks a lot neater now at the side let's plug the beastie in let's give it a go we still have with the inside of it that's the problem so now we know that the cord works I'm going to unplug it wind the cord back up okay so now I'm going to remove the top again a lot easier this time and now we need to concentrate on the floor head so it's been a while since I have taken one of these apart the new brush 
roll is there so I can see that there's a ridge along the end so that the belt is on this side to remove it if I take off this temporary tape for the flap there you can see that's where the bearing goes in that little hole there so it's quite easy you could just drop some oil in there if you wanted to keep the bearing how this originally stuck on I do not know because it's covered in glue now um, but that wouldn't have done it much good to be honest so I'm going to prepare a screw card for this and uh, that is the rug plate Now with the part we'd already cleaned, you can see some fluff already stuck in there. Okay, let me just start taking out. I think these ones I think are for the back wheel. The other ones are to get the body off, the top off. Okay, so that's the inside. I'm going to take the bumper off. Uh, you can see that part of the brush roll is dead and the brush is not very long but uh, yeah but the inside of this is absolutely manky that's the belt those are the ends side here is just caked with dirt and grease Duck dog food. Mm -hmm. Bits of Gilligan in it. Right, I'm gonna have to let it soak. So here I have some uh, degreaser by chemical guys so I'm gonna oops spray that in I'm gonna leave it sit I'm going to clean these up. Now it is time to get this cleaned. It 
it's done it's all back together it looks nice and clean the inside of that as you would have seen was absolutely filthy took ages for me to clean it all up but it now looks so nice it's got the new brush roll i wouldn't say that the brushes protrude a lot um above the rug plate but um definitely better than the other one that one is you can see that was commercially used so everything's all been cleaned up and i had to fix something on the inside this floor head has definitely seen some battles i tell you it is there's a big crack along there that's been fixed on the inside um but generally i've got it back to work it i hope let's test it now so let's get the lid on make sure that plugs in right there we go plugs on let's take the new cord off okay let's test it still doesn't sound 100% in there I don't know why let me turn it on I'll tell you what it is as well I noticed which I need to get um, is one of the tooth belts the small tooth belt was worn on one side so I don't know if that would cause an issue actually let me have a look I've got some tooth belts so let me have a look so no I haven't got a spare one but what I will do like I said I will um, go onto the Manchester Vax website and um, have a look to see if I can find a replacement tooth belt for it because some of the teeth were missing on it. I think the best thing we can do is to get it on the floor and give it a demonstration that's the only way we're going to see so let's do that. So there's been a big old gay wedding there today, so let's get rid of that mess with a nice commercial SIBO.
So I wouldn't say that this old girl has had a very easy life. She's had a very hard life. But with a little bit of TLC and a little bit of dedication and a lot of washing, she certainly is looking and working a lot better than what she was. But I will have to change the belt um, on the on the motor because, like I said, that's worn away. So I will do that. And hopefully it will sound a lot better. We will do a house demo video with it. So I hope you've enjoyed these parts of this. I've certainly had fun learning about these commercial machines. Um, they don't really sound like a SIBO does. And uh, this one certainly performs differently than the X series or the Felix. But uh, she's had a hard life, but now she's gonna get looked after here and brought back to use. And just gonna have gentle light use of just a few house demonstrations so i hope you've enjoyed thank you very much for watching and join me in the next part of this where we will do a house demo at some point in the future when i order the belt i will put the belt on very quickly on time lapse and we will give this a full house demonstration so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye